Ah, oh, hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Annihilator Stealth, ladies and gentlemen, retailing for effectively $3.9 million, ladies and gentlemen, at a buy it now trade price, or a 2.9 if you undertake the relevant Cape Perigo heist mission, I would recommend that you do that. Okay, well here we go, ladies and gentlemen, what you get for your money, and this is it, well it's a stealth. It's a stealth version of the Annihilator, ladies and gentlemen. Really, it's as simple as that. I mean, we've seen the Annihilator all over the map for many years. It's uh, the Annihilator without any wings, uh, slightly angular, in a matte black finish. Okay, so uh, let's go in and uh, have a look at what upgrades can be performed to this vehicle. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, scant few, I'm afraid. We've got uh, the, uh, the handling, we've got the engine, we've got the armor, uh, and of course, we have got missiles. We've got a choice of barrage or uh, homing missiles, about 300 or 320. $25,000 for those. We've got a primary and a secondary color, ladies and gentlemen, and we've got liveries, and that is your lot, I'm afraid. Not a great deal there. Terribly, terribly disappointing for the money. Okay, well, never mind. We're going to take it on out, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to see how she handles. Okay, then. So, this is the Annihilator Stealth, then, ladies and gentlemen. What can one say about it? Uh, it's got the uh, the uh, rotor blades there, similar to the Akula, ladies and gentlemen, and what that means is you will be gaining altitude as you fly along whether you want to or not. In fact, the only way you can keep low to the ground is by uh, not going at the top speed of the helicopter, which is rather annoying. It has got these rockets. We put fitted the homing rockets, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, uh, they don't fire particularly rapidly, and they have not particularly good range. Okay, they're sort of very uh, kind of, uh, sort of comparable to the uh, the Savage there, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The helicopter itself, its top speed is it's okay. It's appreciable, but it's not particularly mind-bending by any way. It's sort of average. Uh, the handling of this helicopter is where it all comes up part I'm afraid it's very similar to the Akula very similar to the uh, the F-1 Hunter effectively it's a very heavy lumbering aircraft ladies and gentlemen you know sort of finesse flying with this uh, aircraft really isn't uh, the order of the day you're better off with a buzzard for something like that you know and how about that we've got a lock on what we've got we've got Mr. Raccoon down here at the uh, Sandy Shores Airstrip so we're going to take a look now ladies and gentlemen okay now we're going to ask ourselves how effective are these machine guns you know uh, and uh, is it possible to hit a, a target on the ground while it's moving out in the air Open, you know, not even around the city. And the answer, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, unless you're a particularly skilled helicopter pilot, is probably not. No, uh, it's very heavy. Uh, it's, it's not the, the machine guns. Well, the machine guns are terrible, ladies and gentlemen. They're, 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 they're the weak little pieces. They won't do any damage. Uh, the main, uh, the main sort of bugbear with this, ladies and gentlemen, is the handling of the helicopter is so atrocious. Uh, trying to hit any target with that, uh, that little point there is pretty much impossible at speed. You know. Okay. Well, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. We're now going to try it up against some other helicopters this is the standard annihilator ladies and gentlemen as you can find anywhere around the map and we're going to see if the upgraded stealth annihilator ladies and gentlemen is faster than the uh, than the standard annihilator and i think we can see quite clearly ladies and gentlemen yes it is okay then so there we go uh, the major point to point out about this helicopter ladies and gentlemen is it is stealth you know uh, if you sort of press right on the d-pad you've got those tiny uh, little uh but beneath the wings there, you can see those tiny little sort of extensions to guns, presumably. Uh, if you uh, press right on the D-pad, they'll go in, and the helicopter will become undetectable. Uh, there we go. And uh, it's also got a repel option, ladies and gentlemen. Anyone sat in the back, if you're at the right height, they can repel down to the ground via a rope. Okay, so the Annihilator absolutely destroyed by the Annihilator Stealth, and perhaps we shouldn't be surprised about that. Okay, the next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put it up against the Annihilator Stealth, up against the Buzzard now, the standard Buzzard. Now, I should point out, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a, an, an upgraded Buzzard. This is just a Pegasus Buzzard. Uh, therefore, it's uh, comparable to any, uh, any particular Buzzard that you can pull off the map, you know. And as you can see, there's whoops, a desert. How about that, Mr. Raccoon? They took a rather nasty spill, didn't they? Hard oh, cheese, old boy. No question, though. They're about the same speed, ladies and gentlemen. If, that wretched raccoon was a better pilot, of course, so uh, we'd be able to see it to the end, but there's not much you can, uh, you can really uh, do with a helicopter. It's not that good, you know. Sodding hell! Right, except for the rockets, of course. Right, didn't even name that one, the wretched raccoon. Okay, so there's yeah, the buzzard, ladies and gentlemen, Annihilator, about the same sort of speed. So the Sparrow, uh, the latest addition to the game in terms of helicopters, or one of the latest, you know, comes as part of the uh, the Kosotika or the Keo Perico submarine. Uh, and as you can see there, ladies and gentlemen, yes, it did get off in front of us. And we uh, you know, we did take this all the way down to uh, the casino, ladies and gentlemen. There's no question, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the Sparrow is quicker. Okay, so the Annihilator Stealth can beat the normal Annihilator. 
Annihilator uh, about the same sort of speed as the bus and ladies and gentlemen and as you're about to see yes can't beat the Sparrow okay so that sort of gives it its speed ladies and gentlemen as I say the handling is absolutely woeful uh, right next ladies and gentlemen we're going to test out the range of those lock on rockets we can see Mr. Raccoon going off down the track there and uh, we're seeing how long we lock on for and there we go we've just lost it so if we check the minimap and see where he was he would have been about halfway up that, uh, that straight there ladies and gentlemen as he's coming back down uh, we catch him on the back part if we have a look there there we go we catch him just about there okay so the lock on rockets have got some range ladies and gentlemen of course the only question is are they any good you know we're going to find that out now so uh, uh air to air ladies and gentlemen they're absolutely sodding useless the question is can it hit anything on the ground so we know the machine guns ladies and gentlemen are absolutely sodding useless as well uh, so we'll go and try and lock onto those rockets and see what happens here okay so we're going to fire one rocket and Yes, we miss him, and we're going to fire another one, and we miss him again. Okay, so uh, initial, initially, ladies and gentlemen, not too good. Okay, we locked on, but we sort of lost it there, and we were firing at the ground, no good whatsoever. Uh, yes, yeah, so firing sporadic rockets, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to hit anything, I'm afraid. Uh, so now we're going to uh, open up, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give it the full beans. We're going to fire as many rockets as we possibly can, and see how long it takes to bring the wretched raccoon down. Okay, I should point out that's Mr. Raccoon, he has a channel of his own, it is called The Bromley, if you go and check that out, uh, he's got some rather good videos on there, what are you going to do with that? Okay, we're firing, firing. Firing, firing, ladies and gentlemen, we've already missed several times, we're still missing currently, but after a, uh, a sort of dozen rockets or so, yes, we do manage to actually bring him down. Okay, then, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, so that is the Annihilator Stealth, what do we think of it? Uh, average speed, absolutely shocking handling, miniguns or the machine guns are terrible, rockets are subpar, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what can we say about well, what do you, what do we think? Should you purchase it? Uh, simple truth, ladies and gentlemen, no, I'd go and get the Akula, you know, uh, you can sit people in the back there they can repel down the side uh, it can go into stealth mode which will hide you from uh, other players online that's rather valuable but the Akula can too ladies and gentlemen all things all I've got to be perfectly frank with you ladies and gentlemen I'd say it's not really worth uh, four million dollars it's barely worth three in fact I wouldn't say it's really worth three I'd go for the Akula here we go Mr. Raccoon show him what we think of it cover with sticky bombs why don't you old boy thank you right and there we go jolly good I do hope you enjoyed the video and as always ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching